other lessons from the government shutdown, though, and this is with this is with all due respect to the 800,000 federal employees who are, with, who are without their paychecks. I do, you know, I do feel compassionate for them. That's not easy to do. A lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. This is probably why it's not a wise way to live uh, like that in case in case you go without a paycheck for a couple of weeks. But in, and like I said, I don't mean this personally to them as employees, but these people, 800,000 of them, are deemed non-essential by our government, meaning our government, the essential functions of our government is not going to be stopped or uh, dismantled in any way by these people being furloughed. So if they are non-essential in this way, why are we paying for them in the first place? Why are we paying for these programs, these projects, sometimes even the agencies uh, for which these individual workers uh, do work? This has been kind of a grand experiment with smaller government, and people have stepped up, right? So for example, in the state parks and the national parks, um, there have been people who have stepped up to, to clean up, right? We haven't actually seen this president conduct the shutdown the same way that President Obama conducted the shutdown by actually closing down national monuments and stuff like that, but, but the caretakers are not necessarily on the job, so people and communities are just stepping up and doing it because nobody wants to look at the National Mall full of trash or whatever. Um, so this has been a grand experiment in revolving some of these responsibilities to where they ought to be with states, with communities, with families, with individuals. Um, and actually, I'd like to point out that the, the, the civil servants, the government employees um, that we've been talking about, the 800,000 people, it's almost impossible to fire them. Um, and that's an important point in all this, because even if their jobs are deemed to be unnecessary, even if either the President, uh, President Trump or Congress deems their jobs unnecessary, those people, in fact, still keep their jobs. They just get shuttled around to a different department or a different, different bureau. Um, it takes an average of 170 days days to let somebody go and you have to have really really good cause and these appeals can stretch into years and years and years so it's it's almost impossible to fire these people right and i think like you said the the word you use is a good word this is an experiment do we need these people do we need government to be this big do we need to be using our taxpayer money to pay their paychecks and i think in a lot of cases the answer is no this is what conservatives have promised for decades and nobody's ever made an effort no conservative in government's ever made an effort to do and that is drastically cut back on the size and scope of what the federal government does just want to see more videos like this click on the link below and subscribe to one america news on youtube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that one america news is added to your lineup call and subscribe today